record of personal credit. Please follow the relevant regulations and help with the orders on the train and at the station. Well, then you start seeing the adoption of social credit score tracking systems, because that's going to be a part of how this will work. China, of course, is leading the way with with all of the systems that they have out there, but they, even China themselves, are upgrading their own systems. They actually just released a new app, um, and the China Daily, which is a state-owned newspaper over there, calls the app the Map of Deadbeat Debtors. Just kind of rolls off the tongue there on that one. But the app tells the user if they're within 500 meters of someone in debt. Like I said with the ESG stuff, if you have one company that isn't willing to play ball with the ESG, like I said, they become an infected company. And any other companies that do business with them, they're going to start getting shut off from Big Brother as well. Well, they're doing the same thing with people. Basically, what this app is, is it'll tell you if you're within 500 meters of someone in debt, and it is used for those people to report if that debtor looks like they're capable of repaying their debt. So if they get a warning on their app saying that they're within range of this person and they see this person where they've got fancy clothes on and they're buying something uh, nice or whatever and you know they're in debt, you can call up the authorities and say, they're able to, uh, I can tell that they're able to pay their debts and they're just not paying them. It's, they're using it for people to spy on each other. Um, now you're probably thinking, why would anybody want to do that? Well, if you look at what happened during the uh, lockdown and stuff, everybody was reporting people not wearing masks and stuff. Well, that's very much out there, but can't just rely on people like that. You get rewarded. You get rewarded for reporting people like that. The user will receive a social credit score uh, reward if they report somebody like that. The person who is considered a debtor, uh, they will receive a social credit score penalty. Now, the other aspect of this is they, the person who was reporting the debtor, they get a reward if they report, but if they are to stay within the vicinity of that debtor and not report them, then they're going to start receiving a penalty on their social credit score system as well. So you either need to report them or you need to leave. So why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? Are you guys seeing just this tangled web of having people go against each other, uh, forcing you to do it, otherwise they're gonna strip your way of life away? I mean, this is getting huge. This kind of plays into the fact of the internet of things again, that, that inter internet of things profile. And like I said, I've talked about it on that, that video. I really recommend watching that video because that thing is a part of everything that's going on right now. But I've talked about it on there where, like say, it, it's they're always tracking not only you, but who you are associated with. And I've talked about how like on your, your, your phone, your smartphone, say you have your phone on you and you're talking to somebody else. Well, they know those phones are within vicinity and they know that you're now an associate of that person. So this is where the social credit score and the internet of things get combined. Where if say that person that you're talking to has a low social credit score because they said something online that they weren't supposed to, or they're doing business with somebody that they're not supposed to, they now know that you're an associate of that person and they can deal with you either by working a uh, penalty on your social credit score, uh, reducing your carbon emissions credits, uh, and then they're gonna put a tag on your profile saying that you're now an associate of, of a known person who goes against what the government wants. It's all one giant web, and it's all connected to each other. It's just, <sighs> I, I don't really have any any other way of putting it, it's just, they want people against each other, and they want to take away your way of life if you're not willing to play their game. That's exactly what they're doing with the ESG and the companies, and that's going to come down to people. As far as this app goes, it it's people have already reported 
these debtors and they've been punished because of it. It's fully in use. I think it's connected to the WeChat uh, app, which I think that's the number one um, app in China, of course. So even China's upgrading and that type of stuff is going to be coming to us. But let's take a trip over across the pond to Britain. Uh, there was a trial run uh, in Britain between the 1st of March and the uh, 30th of September where they introduced an app that really looked like a test run for a social credit score. The city of Sunderland uh, launched an app uh, with the help of Better Points. Uh, the company is Better Points. Uh, this app tracks your travel and rewards, quote unquote, the user with points if they use sustainable transit like walking, biking, or public transport. That's right. They tracked how you traveled and then will give you points based on how you did it. Basically, they're enticing people by issuing points for discounts and coupons on shopping. Uh, also rewards like free coffee and other stuff. So if you walked or you biked or used public transportation or anything like that, you didn't use a car, your own personal car or anything, they would give you points for it. Kind of sounds like a social credit system. It's also a bait and switch system. So, I mean, if you've seen Indiana Jones, you know, where he's trying to grab the, the, the uh, statue and he drops the you know, bag of sand. You know, that's what they're doing. They're they're trying to entice you and use the bait and switch where, oh, no, no, this isn't a social credit system. What we're doing is is uh, if you do something that is, helps the climate, uh, we're just going to reward you for it. Well, that's a slippery slope to the point of, well, we'll just switch it out then where now you are forced to do this thing for climate. Otherwise, we're going to penalize you. It's the bait and switch. So they're trying to program people into accepting this and then they can just switch it out with the thing that now you're forced to do it and now you're already trained it's like you know tr training up a dog type of thing it's just you're going to reward based you know it's exactly like training up a dog if you sit when i tell you to sit i'm gonna give you a treat that's kind of like what they're doing some of the uh, specifics on it is you would be rewarded one point for walking one minute and you get up to 60 points per day. So walking for an hour, you get 60 points. Uh, 10 points per, uh, per bus or metro ride. So public transportation, uh, you can earn that four times a day. So yeah, it's, it's a point-based system for what you're doing for social credit. That's exactly what it is. So they tested that. Like I said, they're always testing things out. They're always do gathering more information. They're always seeing how people are going to react. They're always getting things ready. They always want more information on you. So much so that, like I said, your Internet of Things profile, which many people don't know or believe that there is one, uh, I believe that it knows more about you than it knows about yourself. It's They know everything. 